This video, we're going to go over restyling uh, some of the as aspects of a, your Google App Maker app. Uh, I'm going to first start by uh, talking about how uh, right out of the box, uh, Google has uh, material design baked right in. So when you, uh, uh, here's an example of uh, uh, one of the template apps that comes with App Maker. Uh, you you can see that uh, it gives you this nice blue uh, background, a nice uh, uh, place uh, to do searches. Uh, the icons are all the same color and they have sort of uh, similar behavior like this uh, add inventory button sort of has a hover uh, shadow to it. Uh, when you click on this navigation screen you can put objects in here that look uh, make it really look like a, uh, um, a made for uh, uh, material design application. And that's all very nice. It looks very professional. It doesn't require a whole lot of work to get it to look like that. There's some situations where you might want to uh, uh, go ahead and, and, and change some of these things because you want to make your app a little personal, you want to brand it, uh, you want to maybe get uh, maybe a little uh, a quicker user acceptance by uh, including some uh, things that uh, the folks at your particular organization are used to. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to go back to my development environment. I'm going to open up an app that I already started on here. And I'll run through uh, some of the uh, high-level aspects of styling objects and classes in AppMaker. So you can see in front of me I have the Hilltop College Panthers football roster uh, for the year. It's a little app uh, that I created uh, to test some of these things. And you can uh, see here that there's a list of players. And if you look, this uh, doesn't quite look like material design, does it? There's some aspects of it, like this, these, these fonts here, uh, the colors of the uh, uh, text box labeled, um, the headers here, some buttons. If I go to some other pages here, you can see there's uh, a couple different types of buttons that are, that are showing up. So let me see, let me show you um, how I, I got to that. Uh, so if you look over here, uh, the heart and soul of this, the whole thing is over in the uh, uh, property editor, Okay, in the style editor area, okay, right here in the style editor. And there's three components that you need to know about in the style editor. Uh, the first one is uh, kind of a little cheat sheet or helper. Uh, right here, I can see that um, uh, I have the panel selected. You can see the, the blue line around the panel. And it tells you that this object class is uh, app panel. So I can go ahead and use that. Uh, to color things. So if I go in here and I type in dot app panel, Let's see you can see that the type ahead is, is working for me here. So I just select that. So and I put in color. I'll explain some of these there. And I say uh, yellow. in background, background color yellow, see? And you can see the whole thing turns yellow. All right, so uh, this is a nice little cheat sheet. So it kind of shows you what I'm in at the moment. So I'm going to delete that, get us back to, to a normal white one. And I'll show you as I, as I click on other things, you'll see this change. And you can see that change at, at the uh, text box. And I go ahead and I can change the uh, look and feel. So now let me let me go down to uh, skip page uh, style here, and I'm gonna jump right to global style where I just typed in that background yellow. Um, the global style is just this global. So anything I change in this box changes anything that doesn't already have a style in any other page that's in the app. Doesn't matter where it is in the app. Uh, so if I if I again Go back here, and I type in dot app panel, all right, and I do background <clears throat> color, and I say yellow, it's going to be yellow. Now, if I click anywhere, see all the backgrounds have turned yellow, not particularly uh, uh, nice looking, so I, I will go ahead and remove that. 
Okay, so I'll, I'll take that out. All right, now, uh, so anything that I do within this global style affects all, uh, uh, all the pages. This uh, section here, however, if I, if I put stuff in there, and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put this in here. I'll put the same thing I used to have down global here, which is the uh, dot app panel. I'll say background color yellow. Uh, and you see that if I click here in schedule, well, schedule and schedule one and secondary page, none of those have yellow background. That's because I put it in this actual page. Uh, and you'll notice as I click on those, and I click back on the artist palette here, you can see that it's not in there anymore. That's because depending on what page you select, uh, you'll see different things in this page style section. However, you'll see that this never changes because it is global. All right, I think I, I uh, made myself clear. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, uh, talk a little bit more about some other options you have. So if you notice that um, if I go ahead and paste that yellow back in there, you'll notice that I got to that by using its generic path, okay? Uh, App.panel, well, that is a generic uh, global path to that class of object. However, if I wanna change a particular object in here um, that isn't, uh, isn't called out by its class. Let's say I've got a, this text box here uh, that I want to change, uh, but I don't want to change the rest of the, rest of the text, text boxes. I can't necessarily use this or it'll affect all the text boxes on the, uh, the layout. So, so instead, I'm going to, instead of typing in app dash, oops, dash, uh, text box, all right, and then saying uh, background color yellow. If I go ahead and do that, all my text boxes will also do that. I want to select just this text box, okay? So to accomplish that, I'll go here and I'll give, and I know, and I see the name of it. Now I could have given it a custom name, but it gives you a sequential name. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And I'll go back here. And there's a couple things I need to do here. Um, uh, I could, you know, I could try just pasting that in there. Okay. And of course that won't work because it's not a full path. I've given it the name, but I, but I also, uh, since it's a unique object, I also have to give it um, a, uh, a, a, a path to the page. So go ahead and uh, I uh, paste that in there. And now you see that it was able to go to the app, go to the page, and then find that name. And there it is. It turned it to the background yellow. So I think you get an idea of, of, of how this sort of thing works. Um, you can see in here, now, I go there. Okay, so um, you can see I've changed a, a number of things uh, uh, in the app. Uh, I've changed some of the, the uh, backgrounds of the buttons to be blue. Okay, like if I click on that one, you'll see that I changed uh, uh, the uh, background, the size of, of it. Uh, the I've changed the padding of it, changed the color. And you notice that I didn't type in a um, a color uh, name like I did before by typing in yellow. I've actually used a hexadecimal code, uh, the WebSafe hexadecimal code, which you can get off uh, uh, different websites, and that's linked into the that's linked to in the blog. Uh, it'll give you a list of colors that are, are WebSafe. A lot of them also have equivalent names. Uh, sometimes it's easier to remember names. Sometimes it's easier to just type in the code. Um, either way. Uh, you, 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 uh, if you enter it in there, it'll change it accordingly. Uh, most objects have uh, uh, a lot of different things uh, that you can do with them using uh, generic CSS code. Uh, as you say here, see here, I've added padding, um, but I could add, um, 
you know, justification, I could make it bold, I could change some of the, the font aspects of it. You can do a lot of stuff if you uh, uh, explore what's possible. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, see, it's exposing the tip of the iceberg. Um, so uh, it is a very uh, a big uh, thing, uh, learning CSS. So uh, don't hesitate to explore that. But just to know where in AppMaker you can make these modifications is really helpful and it just opens the door enough uh, so you can see a little light uh, peeking in and uh, go to town on your own and, and uh, experiment with uh, making the app uh, uh, something that is, is unique to your organization and really putting your fingerprint on it.